Just trying to take something off of a wedge here to control the spin. Sounded great, didn't it? Oh, yes. Ended up great. Struggling to commit to it. I mean, all you can do is line the ball up, and sometimes it's nice to just say, just make the ball roll. Oh, well, time to settle down, isn't it? He's gone from right in it to uh, oh, only five under now, seven back. Yeah. And Kepka on the tee. Can't imagine more than an eight iron for Brooks. Going 173. Oh, and a good leave. Putting pretty much straight up the hill there. Back at the green now. Brooks with his third. And this ball is plugged right in the lip of the oh. bunker. Again, plugged. And it, and it ran in or bounced and it just fell in the corner. And it, there's a lot of sand up the edges. It's obviously been pushed up. Okay, up at the green now. After that spectacular bunker shot, Trevor. Yeah, that shot was pretty amazing. That ball was deep down underneath the lip of the bunker. Great save. Now the third for Kepka. Decent lie, no tree trouble. This is on a good line here. Oh, took that big bounce. That landed probably right on the cut edge, wasn't it? Exactly, on the seam. Kepka. Smashed a drive down here. That just from 148 pitching wedge. I sure did, Trevor. That's the longest of anybody. Kept at nine. 155 yards. He can go ahead and let this pitching wedge go. There you go, finally. Needs to get a little boost heading to that second side. Yeah. Had a chance on the first. There you go. So he finished his second round on this side yesterday in 38 strokes. 37 coming back and tackling it today. Yep, go from the middle of the fairway, 169. And this is just riveted. And right about there, this could have gone in too. From two over to one over par, 11. That brings him back to level for the day. So a good tee shot into the par three. He's on a bit of a run with his short irons right now. This is a pitching wedge. Yeah, we've just seen Phil play it perfectly. Yeah. A good look for four in a row. Up on the green for four straight. I'm trying to get this yes. round back into the red figures. How about that? Hey. How about that? Turn around. 152 Gosh. to the hole, but wow, this has come out pretty good from here. Yes, this could be impressive to get. Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, front edge, I'm saying that is really impressive to aim there and hit it there. Great view there of what will happen as it comes on the green. Boy, the greens are so smooth. Wow. So that is five birdies in the last six holes for Brooks. I hit to 15. This a gap wedge on the way. Here's Kepka now to read. get to 10 under. This is a good read. Oh, come on, ball. It's got to move. Oh. Put it right where he wanted it, I believe. Yeah, that was. It's a tough to see. It just peels into that back, back right corner on the golf green. He's got quite a lot of room, probably 20 or 25 feet to play with. I expect this to be inside of five or six feet. Oh, just dug in. Good call, though. Momentum part here to keep it going. Doesn't need to look for too much. Didn't. Yards of green he's got to cover. Tough shot here. Did he go down a club, Trevor, at all? No, nope. stuck to the lob wedge. Brooks on the tee at 18. And this is a wise play as well with the three wood here. And this is going to be perfect. Kapka with a nine iron. We've seen him hit a number of great short iron shots since the ninth hole. This one may just be a little deep here. 